Hello everyone, this is a quick video to show you uh, how to code the uh, fuel injectors for the BMW N55 and N54 engine. I particularly have the N54 twin turbo. So basically I have here a Windows laptop. It's actually a Windows 32-bit edition. Um, and I have a DCAN uh, cable connected to my car. The ignition is currently on and I'm going to show you how to work the um, IMPA software. So I have an icon here um, and this will launch the IMPA software and you can see that uh, the IMPA is actually connecting to the ECU by having um, th both the battery and the ignition lights uh, as black. If you are having communication problems between the laptop and the car computer none of those lights will be working so um, at this point you, you will be presented with some sort of a menu depending on the version of uh, which uh, input you have the menu my items might be reorganized for me here uh, to enter into the E90 which is what I have I need to press the F9 key so um, a dialog box pops up I would select engine and under the other tab I would select MSD80 for N54 actually double click that and now this German menu pops up uh, my understanding is that the latest version of the MSD80 um, uh, uh, file for INPA is not, has not been translated yet um, I don't know when this will happen uh, but I have a few friends who help me translate so once you enter the MSD80 menu, you would want to select the option that says System Diagnosen. In my case, that's again F9. Uh, there, there's another uh, submenu here that uh, presents you with a lot of choices. And if you notice here on this end, it says uh, Shift plus F4, Injector, uh, something against, I guess, with the injector. So I press Shift F4. And now, as you can see, the INPA is showing all of my injectors and their programming, how they entered into the ECU. There's actually two values for each injector. One is energy uh, value, um, and the other one is the flow value here. Um, there is a decimal separator, which in our case would be a point or a dot. Um, so the, the, the numbers that you have on your injector will be entered here. In my particular case, I'm replacing injector number 1. And uh, to do this, I would select F1, which is here in the shortcut menu. And uh, the software will ask you for two different values. I've already written down uh, my uh, new values for injector 1. There will be uh, 582 and 227. In this particular case, it will be 58.2. 58.2. And it will be 2.27. 2.27. And then you press OK. And as you can see, the new coding is already taken effect. Uh, the, my new injector one has 58.2 and 2.27. And that's it. That's all you need to do.